So I was supposed to film a bump date today and with all the excitement that happened, you're not getting a bump date. today good 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 yeah yeah good, good. good. what are you doing good. yeah good. 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 wow good. Good. that's great good. what should we do today Hudson do you want to play outside again you just want to play the cord and the wrist strap all day? Perfect. We could do that too. Great. Okay, so something exciting just happened. Um, Hudson and I were braking behind a car and, um, <laughs> and they were just like about to go and so I just tapped my brakes a little bit, went to press the gas and the car wouldn't go like it just wouldn't go I'm on kind of a hill um, and the car just wouldn't go so I stop and I like put my hazards on and I'm waving cars around me and there luckily was no one behind me for the first little bit um, and I call Brandon and I'm like um the car just died <laughs> and I didn't know if I should like turn it off and then turn it back on if it was gonna like explode you know so we did that and it wouldn't turn over and a whole bunch of my lights came on but I'm stuck in a left turn lane and I just had nowhere to go and I didn't know what to do and I'm pregnant and I can't even push the car so I sat there for probably like five minutes and then these two um, I'm assuming teenagers stopped and ran over and were so sweet and helped push me and um, another guy stopped and got out of his car to stop the other lane of traffic so that I wouldn't get hit by the other lane and then he helped them push the car um, and so Hudson and I just sat here and we have some neighbors that are coming to pick us up, but I got out to get him out and those teenagers were still like here. Um, and so he came over and he was like, let me check your fluids. Cause there was fluid that had leaked under your car, but it didn't smell like oil. It didn't smell like gas. Um, so he checked and he said the coolant is low or it's like gone. So, um, yeah, so now we're just hanging out on the side of the road. It's a balmy 95 degrees today. Luckily, I have water for both of us, but especially for Hudson. Um, and we have a crap ton of emergency water in the car because um, cause I'm pregnant and I love water. So anyway, um, these kids were helping me and I just am like crying because it was so nice of them to stop and get out and come help me. Um, and so I got out of the car and I was like, can I give you both a hug, please? And like, oh my gosh, I just, what a freaking nightmare, you guys. So anyway, um, so yeah, we're just chilling. Neighbors only live like 15, 20 minutes away. And I called them about 15 minutes ago. The air was still like cold that was coming out of the vents for the first little bit. And then it started to get hot. So I figured we might as well get out where it's windy. Um, it's still hot, but at least it's a breeze. So anyway, um, I'll keep you posted on what happens later. Okay, we are home. All safe and sound. Huh. Not really a happy camper. Um, our neighbor came to pick us up and... Hello! I know! Did Bailey go get you? She came and she held you for a minute, huh? And I think that he thought she was like taking her and that I wasn't going with him. She went to go put him in the car seat in her car and he just panicked. Huh. But she had air conditioning, so we were good. Yeah. So anyway, she drove us home. She was like, so nice. Why are you just smiling? Yeah, you're crazy. But we're here. Um and we'll go back later once Brandon gets home. See if we can figure out what the heck happened because it just stopped working like it just stopped huh didn't it it just quit working ah, yeah. anyways um ah. the people that helped us will probably never ever see this but i am so grateful 
to them. The two kids that helped us and the guy that got out of his car and stopped traffic so that we didn't get hit. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, to our neighbors. Oh, just so nice. Just don't know what we do without kind people, huh? Huh, what would we do without them? Yeah, we would perish. I think that's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. All right, should we have some fun? Should we make up for, for that little exciting adventure? We were gone for like literally like an hour and 10 minutes and we got halfway to our destination and then came home. It's perfect. Yep. So, um, might have some more ice cream for a snack because frankly, we both deserve it because he was really great in the car and I just really have a lot of emotions right now. So anyways, um, uh, yeah, man, I don't even know what else to say. What a good Monday. Were you just eating your toe? <laughs> Why were you eating your toes? Huh? You goofball? <laughs> oh, were you just resting? Your hair is crazy. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I was supposed to film a bump date today and with all the excitement that happened, you're not getting a bump date. That'll come the next time, but I got my uh, knight in shining armor here. That close enough. You're wearing gray. <laughs> <laughs> that rescued me, sort of, over the, the phone. The second time. The second time. He got the car home. Yeah, I don't know how. It was low on coolant, like the kid said. Well, the, the coolant was empty. Low on coolant, really high on oil and water. Yeah. In oil. Yeah. So. For all of you uh, automotive mechanics out there, sure we got a head gasket on. problem. <laughs> so we're gonna try and, you're gonna try and seal it? Yeah, that's the cheapest route. And then we'll go from there. So. It's gonna be fun. Yay. Adulting is the best. Yeah, I heard you say that to your dad on the phone. <laughs> Yeah, shout yeah. out to my dad. Thanks for your help. Seriously. For also, thanks for all the many life lessons of learning how to diagnose and fix car issues. That's what I was just going to say. And most mechanical issues Anybody in general. Anybody who has parents who have taught them how to do anything. Parents are great. <laughs> and I'm so grateful to Brandon's dad for teaching him how to do things because I would have literally no idea what to do. Yeah. So. Meaning that just worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, this is mm -hmm. yes. It's a thing. This is what this it is. is not. It's so smudgy. I know. Did you let Hudson touch this thing again? You did. Did you too. did you watch the vlog that went up today? Yeah, look at this thing. You can see it right oh, there. Oh, sheesh, Louisa. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um, so yeah, great day. Very exciting day. Um, Hudson and I spent most of the day just cuddling on the couch because after that, I just was like drained. So. Yeah, we just have fair enough. Oh, yeah. I don't, did you talk about this? Shout out to our neighbors that went and rescued Caitlin. Oh, yeah, I did see I don't know you. if we, if we shouted out to them, but I called the husband, she called the wife, and they were there. They're they were amazing. just like ready. So. They were so good. Yeah, I did say. Just lots of shout outs. This was, we couldn't have done this without everyone, so just thanks for your help. Everyone. And I did Appreciate say, it. like, those two teenagers, they will never watch this, but. You don't know that. They probably won't, but if they do. If you are the teenager that helped Caitlin and you've watched this, please reach out, send us a DM. Thanks for Thanks. letting me like cry happily at you <laughs> and ask you if I could give you a hug, like awkwardly. Did you give them a hug? You both, yeah. Each of them. And was everyone creeped out I asked thoroughly? them if I could. And I was they were in like, the car uh, and they said yes. Maybe. Because I was crying. I was like, can I give you guys a hug? And they're like, so no crazy crying. Maybe. I know, they probably didn't. They're probably like, oh, I never want to have kids. Yeah. And the guy was like, I never want to get married because women are crazy. Anyways, now we're just rambling. So we're going to just wrap it up here and figure out something to do with ourselves because we feel like we have lots to do and we can't do anything right now because it's 9.30 at night. Holy, it's late. <sighs> yeah, we should probably just go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> lots of adrenaline. Anyways, tell the people good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>